what is up fam welcome back to the channel if you are new around these parts hello as domi would say i'm back on my ish <laughs> um we're here with the sticker haul i have some tried and true here and i have a new to me shop i think i have just one new to me shop here yeah um and it is make plans and it's actually where i'm going to be starting because i'm super super excited to get into this so let's do it because we are a little shy of time this go around so let's get started Pretty sure i use jen's um code for this order because jen is the reason i ordered pretty much it's how i know about mcplans i know that she was kind of i don't know if officially or unofficially pring for mcplans before she had an actual pr team so Shout out to Jen of Jen Joy Plans. Go and check her out if you have not. So I'm excited. So we have a $50 plus freebie and I kind of love this, not gonna lie. I love the variations. They're all kind of Valentine's lovey scripts. So happy V-Day. The TV binge with babe is probably my fave because we do that a lot. Lunch date, dinner date, the McPlans, happy mail, lazy morning snuggles, happy anniversary I can definitely use with hubs, cuddles, with my love, date night, hang with my love, um, date, I think I got everything, cozy up by the fire, super adorbs, so love that, and then I think these are all freebies, yes, so I got the 30 plus freebie, which is the little piggies, I think these are the little piggies, yeah, in the like V-Day kind of colorway with like the pinks and reds, I have the $15 plus freebie, again, very like couple themed, I have the Gen Joy Plans freebie, which is so stinking cute. I love like the little winter theme. I love, I remember seeing this when Jen showed it, show, what am I saying? When Jen showed it in one of her hauls, I think. I love that little nod to her shop with the Sadie Joy cup. I think that's so sweet. And I just, I, I love it, I love it. And then we have, I guess, just a general freebie, like shop freebie. Um, just showcasing some of her cute little stickers. So there is that. And then, that's so many freebies, y'all. Like, five freebies? I think five freebies. So, like, thank you. <laughs> Love that for me. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's get into my order. I didn't even know these existed until I was just perusing the website. But I got the um different like monthly script samplers for all the months i guess i missed the boat because there was like a time where she was like selling them all as a bundle probably during a sale when they first came out um so i wish i would have caught that but still i love this because it gives me a variety of ways to mark the month but also gives me some fun like spring break could totally work for me because I work at a college. It has like your standard holidays and then it has some really fun holidays like National Cereal Day, like hello, National Nap Day, National Puppy Day. So this is March. I just love how she did this. We have May, May the 4th be with you, Kentucky Derby, brunch, thank you very much for that. <laughs> National Burger Day, National Wine Day, Cinco de Mayo. And then just some like spring activities, fly a kite, bike ride. I just thought that she really, I feel like she really took a um, really, uh, what am I saying? Her take on this was really creative. I don't know. I, I love it. So um, yeah, so we have May and then we have some character stickers. Let me see if I can just do all the scripts at once. Yeah, let's do all the monthly scripts first. So we have January. I just like to see what the fun ones are. So National Popcorn Day, National Hot Cocoa Day. We have February, Mardi Gras, Super Bowl watch party, which I may actually attend one of these. The fact that there's a National Marg Day this month, baby. <laughs> the National Pizza Day, baby. <laughs> I'm a vegan to Marg. Um, Grilled Cheese Day, International Dance Day. Y'all, this International Dance Day used to always be in July, y'all. And now it's in April. It was very me. It's very me. International Dance Day is very me. So I used to love, I think it was always on the 30th for the longest. And then now I guess they changed it. I don't know. Who's like in charge of these random holidays, I wonder. But anyways, it looks like it's April 29th this year. I did not know that. So tax day, uh, April, Good Friday. Hello, April, Easter brunch. Yeah, love it. Then we have June, Juneteenth. So hot. 
literally. National Cheese Day, National Donut Day. I do know that day quite well. June. Uh, did I get two Junes? Oh, I got two Junes. I don't know why. Maybe I'll de-stash the other one, but I have two Junes for some reason. Probably on me, let's be honest. Hold on, I have National Avocado Day, the day after my birthday. I'm not mad at that. National Ice Cream Day, you have all the July scripts, watch fireworks, cookout, beach trip. Then we have August. Sorry, y'all, I just got distracted. Um, National Waffle Day, catch fireflies, watch sunset. So yeah, October, National Taco Day, Mean Girls Day, of course. Carve pumpkins, pass out candy, November. National Sandwich Day, National Fast Food Day, that's a problem for your girl. And then we have December, mail cards, National Cookie Day, yum. Okay, and then we have my little character stickers. So she did some Disney ones that I just had to pick up because I have a Aladdin themed kit that I wanna use this year. I'm still not sure exactly when, but I had to pick up the little Aladdin characters. They're so adorbs. Let me just bring you guys in a little bit because they are. They are small, but I love them. So cute. Then I got the princesses one. I thought this would be cute to use with the Magic Bound kit from SPC, which I am planning to use in April for when I take my trip. We have the little laptop girls. We have the little, um, it looks like silhouette um, cutter, cut, cutting machines, I guess. Um, little piggies, are these the piggies? Yes. For the piggies and then we have the laptop and we have the coffee one which I am obsessed with let's be clear we have the packing one which I thought would come in handy we have oh this is a video game one for my babe and then we have a little desk one which I also love I I'm not sure how I feel about the size. I think I would have preferred, I think she has different sizes. So this is on me, but since it's my first time ordering, it's kind of hard to tell on screen, like watching hauls and on um, screen. But I think I prefer this size as opposed to this size. I don't know. I don't know how much. It's not that big of a difference, but these are just a smidge small. Great if you use a lot of little things, I think, but I'm not a big little thing girl. <laughs> not a big little thing girl, who am I? Um, <laughs> but I still love them and obviously I can still get use out of them because uh, I do still use little things, especially if I have a lot to mark in a certain day. So that is my order from Make Plans, y'all. And I heard that she has opened her own site. Um, when I purchased this, she was on Etsy still. I'm not sure if she still is on Etsy. I think she's gonna be on both, but I'm not sure. But I do know that she launched her website recently. So definitely go and show Make Plans some love. Check out Jen Joy Plans um, and Make Plans other PR team uh, friends to get you some money off and keep freebies. Okay, next up we have Y'all, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Let me zoom you guys out a little. I've been waiting for this baby. I have my Coffee Monsters co-order. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, ooh. I'm so excited. So those of you who follow Coffee Monsters Co. a lot probably know that um, I was waiting pretty much for Black Friday to put, on, put in my order, but Helen ended up um, postponing that sale because they just got so pummeled with... Um, I think her birthday sale orders that she ended up pushing it back so this came this is technically kind of like her own black friday but um obviously it came in a little later since she postponed the sale but i'm so excited so let's get into it so i don't even remember y'all what the hell i got <laughs> it's been a minute well i know this is the freebie so let's start here with the freebie we have the little desk scene, swatch pens, and then we have the little um, like converse, conversating emojis. This is the December for Rebe. And then I have lots of little things here. So let's see, we have some die cuts. So I have the I collect pens, and I did pick these up to put in my 2023 planner. So I collect pens, I collect washi, oops, which honestly, neither one of those are really true. I collect sticky notes, also not true, but this one, this one is Bex. So this is the one I'll be keeping. I think you got these depending on how much you ordered. So 
clearly I ordered plenty because I got, I think there were four of them. So maybe, maybe there was more, but clearly I ordered plenty. Definitely keeping the iCollect stickers one, probably de-stash the other ones. And then I have like these mini little like, um, like business card size journaling cards. I don't know if I should call them that, um, but that's kind of what they are. So I have the little you rule one, super cute. I have the planner friends, planner friends make the best friends, which I really love. And then you rock. Love the puns. Love the puns there. Um, okay. And then, oh, I have one more little kind of vinyl sticker and it's the 2023 one. Pretty sure I did pick that up. I don't think that's a freebie. Okay, and then we get into my order. So let me move this stuff and make sure there's no invoices and such, and we'll get into that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just saw the journaling card and it's so going in. If I can fit it in, it's so going in my planner because it's literally what I've been saying going into 2023 and like manifesting all of 2023. And it says, protect your peace. I love it when it's just chaos and then it's like no nope, protecting my peace with music like this is so me with a little blanket I'm in love with this journaling card like I have to put this in my planner somewhere I'm not sure where it's gonna go but it's going in my planner I am obsessed I'm obsessed with this journaling card hold on you're the best um okay and then we have a ton of little emoji <laughs> emoji emotions emoji heads uh, with different emotions. This is on like a clear paper. I don't think I've ever tried this paper from her. Is it clear? I think it's clear. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's clear. It's on a clear paper. So there's that. I don't know if this is a freebie or if I ordered this, to be honest with you guys. Maybe I ordered this. Who knows? Either way, I'm gonna use it. Okay, now let's get into my stack. Look at my stack. Okay, so we have self-care bucket list because again, protecting my peace is of the utmost importance for this new year. We have the working onesies. I think these are just so cute in a different way to mark working. I feel like these would be particularly fun to mark working from home. So pick those up. Budgeting emojis because I don't know y'all. Budgeting, I have had the most difficult time finding my way back to that content. Like I'm really struggling with that. I still budget on my own, but like creating the content just has not been where my heart has been. So it's been a struggle, but I definitely still budget on my own and occasionally make some trips to the ATM. So budgeting emojis, I have oatmeal doodles. And I love that it includes an oat milk because oat milk is good y'all. And pff, your girl's getting old and pff, lactate is really not it. It's really not it for your girl. Um, presentation emojis. I love particularly the like sweating nervous one because that's basically how I am at least when I first start a presentation. So very appreciative of that. So we have that one. We have the popcorn emojis, the running late emojis, which sometimes it'd be like that y'all. Sometimes it'd be like that. All nighter emojis. I love the eyes on these. I can relate. I probably wouldn't use these for all-nighters because I, I cannot, y'all. I'm no longer the youngin that I was. I cannot pull all-nighters, but when I can't sleep, these are perfect. Or just to mark being tired, no energy emojis. We have bread and pastry doodles because give me all of the carbs. Give me all of the carbs, baby. Daily affirmation emojis. I feel like these could be cute to use in the sidebar if I don't have anything else to mark. These are super cute. And actually these remind me of Steph from Geeky Planning. She does all of her affirmations at the end of her videos and I love that. Make sure you go and check out Steph from Geeky Planning. Nerdy working emojis. I got train emojis. This is what I wanted to pick up most when these were added. I was like, I need to wait for more things that I wanna pick up because it is actually kind of hard to find train stickers. There's not that many of them. So, and y'all know I take the train into work. So these are perfect. I kind of wish they were in more like neutral colors too, but I'll take what I can get. Beggars can't be choosers. So I did pick up a couple of these to mark that. I have, so this is my first time picking up the tater tots. I just happened to see them on our website. I'm obsessed with these. I need these doing multiple things. I know Helen is not watching this video and I know that she has a long list of requests from customers, but like 
can I have more of Brie? It just like the tater tots literally doing all the things because I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love this. And the red hair, like, mm -mm this is amazing so there's Brie she has different ones different skin tones and hair colors so you can go and check that out um as blah 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 existential crisis I can't speak definitely have had some of those I'm not gonna lie kitchen scenery emojis this is just fun if I have like a big cooking day or something which usually if I'm cooking it's a big cooking day because it's a to-do if I'm cooking so I feel like this could be fun especially on a day if there's not too much to mark. That's a good thing that'll take up quite a bit of space. So pick that up. Annoying coworker emojis. Pretty self-explanatory, honestly. I won't say much more. <laughs> Unnecessary meeting emoji. Like, come on. This is epic. This could have been an email. Like, mm -mm. I have, mm -mm. let me not say anything, but I definitely have at least one of those coming up. Planning routine emojis. I love this little addition, like finish spread, set up spread, update planner, clean desk, like for real. I love like the variation of this little sampler. So planning routine emojis, pharmacist emojis. I thought this would be good to mark if I need to pick up meds for my parents or for myself, um, but usually it's for them. So and I don't really have any med related stickers. Um, so I thought this would be good to pick up. We have family movie time pretty self-explanatory, sluggish, which oof, I've definitely been feeling that. Clean the house. I thought these were cute. I remember when these were first released and I was like adding that to my list of things, but it's a house and then it has the different rooms and there are little like check boxes you can mark off. So this could be a cute um, um, sidebar thing. What am I saying thing? Like a sidebar sticker to use if you're Kind of in cleaning mode for a week or something. I think this would be super cute. Uh, crafting desk emojis. Love that. And this is a bigger sticker, so obviously something I can use if it's a slow day. Bloated emojis. I have been, you guys, feeling this hardcore. I know, TMI, but I've been feeling this hardcore lately. Sometimes it's flow because she's awful, but sometimes it's not. I'm like, stop, stop, body. Uh, dishwashing emojis. Self-explanatory. Winter planning emojis. We have the 2023 holidays general sampler emoji. So this is super cute. Got all the little holidays on there. Uh, we have girl boss emojis. Honestly, I got this because it's an emoji being frustrated at equipment, either a laptop, a silhouette, it looks like a label printer, and like faxes. Computer emojis, another big one good to take up a lot of space so if I just pretty much work that day and there was nothing really exciting that day great to use shop owner emojis for obvious reasons I love that and I've really been trying to um, up my shop owner related stickers so love that these are a smidge bigger I'm noticing meeting emojis again self-explanatory syringe emojis I thought with all of the shots and whatnot and vaccines and all the things that we need to get, boosters galore, this would be a good to mark that or any other thing I might have to get in the future. Hopefully I don't because I hate going to the doctors, but you guys know. Winter critters sampler. So obviously I can use this with my winter spreads, although those are nearing an end. So I really got to pull these into them. I'm going to put them off to the side so I don't forget. No pants emojis because why? <laughs> because why? <laughs> No bra day because, again, why? 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 Just why? Uh, cozy blanket emojis. Lazy day emojis. Oops, sorry, y'all. That's my, hey, you have a meeting alarm. I have a meeting in five minutes. That's my warning alarm. Um, lazy day emojis. Manicure emojis. We have our coffee lovers emoji. This is just a re-up because I um, love to use these. The working emojis in gray. The bubble butt emojis. I just thought this was cute, honestly. I don't know when I would use this. Well, the music one I could definitely use. Otherwise, I just thought this was fun. I love the squats one. Hilarious. A terrible day emoji. Sometimes they happen, y'all. We don't like them, but they do happen. Lazy day emoji. Pizza lover emojis. Mm, this made me want pizza. Stressed out emoji. Relatable AF. 
online shopping emojis. This is gonna be me. This refresh, refresh, and this sold out, hopefully not the sold out one, but the refresh, refresh is gonna be me in like a week and a half's time. You should know. If you don't, if you don't know, you should know. <laughs> Watch my other videos, you'll know. Uh, driving emoji. I feel like this is a good one for being stuck in traffic too. Not necessarily the smiling ones, but like the like really ones. And then the roadway, the road rage ones too. Rainy day emojis. I'm never this happy when it rains. All the stickers I see that are rain character stickers, they're always happy. And I'm like, the rain doesn't necessarily make me that thrilled, y'all. Theme park countdown because I'm going to Disney in April and I'm super, super pumped. Hopefully I remember to pull them in because I'm the worst at that, but we're trying to be better. Low battery emojis, sushi emojis. I don't have sushi a ton, but it would be nice to have a sheet or two for when I do have it to mark it. Um, or I can mark, you guys, I discovered a new spot uh, that's actually a sushi spot, but they have bowls too near my job and ugh, it's become a staple. So good. So expensive, but so good. The gas pump emojis for obvious reasons. This is just me re-upping on the Marvel emojis, both the pastel and the regular. Email emojis, because sometimes that's my entire day, not gonna lie. And then a rise and shine emojis. So know why I put this one down that way but that is my order from the Coffee Monsters Co. Just emojis galore. It's great um, and let's go on to the next one. So next up we have Alicia Craft which honestly I have missed my Alicia Craft stuff. I feel like it's been a minute since I've hauled her on the channel and I don't like that. So don't worry, there's an order about to be put in today, uh, but it's fine. So we have the freebie in this really pretty like sparkly blue, or is it blue prism? I've been obsessed with blue prism lately. It might be blue prism. I'm not sure, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorge. And then we have the winter freebie and like that sparkly hollow. So it has the let it snow overlay and then some scripts and little deco pieces. Oof. My eyes itchy, y'all. Okay, and then it looks like we have a shop swap. So we have a Carly Plans little doodle, doodle, doodle sheet <laughs> that's Christmas based. I did, I ordered this a while back, but I know her processing times were high because she's amazing. So she's getting tons of orders. Crafty Planner Co., which I haven't ordered from Crafty Planner Co., but I have heard of the shop. And then I did put oops in the notes. So I got a couple of oopsies, which like, let's be honest, like where's the oops? <laughs> um, okay, so we have the Christmas overlays in gold. I see like a little bit of oops here, but like otherwise these other boxes are pretty perfect. And even that oops is not really that big of a deal. So there's that. We already know Alicia Crafts quality is top notch. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this. Like, I really don't know what's wrong with this. So, <laughs> full box overlays. This is based off her Nightmare Collection, which of course I got to use with that like spooky Christmas kit. I forgot the exact name of it, but you guys know what I mean. That kit is just art. And here is another Oops page as well. A sneak peek at what I got, because. Leash Craft is amazing and always kind of matches her oops to what you got, which I think is just such a sweet touch. So, and then we have this one, which is the Christmas bottom washi page in gold as well. And then I think that's it for the oops and the freebies. So let's get into my order, shall we? So let's start with the little um, like half sheet ones. So I got the Christmas stuff. Again, I ordered this a while back, but it took a while to get to me. So obviously these will be hoarded for next Christmas, but it worked out fine because I did get the Alicia Craft Advent and that had some Christmas stuff that I could use. So I'll just be using these and next Christmas, do not let me get Christmas foil y'all. Do you hear me? Don't let me do it. Don't let me do it. So we have the Christmas double box overlay scenes. Um, well, not scenes, overlays in red. I just got it in a regular red and I love it. I love this one in particular with the little like Merry Christmas and the wreath and stuff. 
I feel like she always is so creative with her double box overlays. So love that. Got that in gold and I'm sorry, in red and in gold. I'm all over the place, friends. Then we have some full box overlays in gold as well. And I'm just, I love these. I love this little like garland. So pretty. And this scene is so pretty. So again, gold and red, probably because I couldn't decide what foil I wanted to use with whatever kit I was thinking of using this with. I think I was thinking of using it with that um, Kittenish Jess Christmas art. What was it called? I don't remember what it was called, but it's like... It was the at home one, very red green based. It had that beautiful stack of pancakes. I don't remember what it was called, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, that just came out last year. And then we have the Christmas tall box overlays. And I love that she does these two sizes to match like shop tall boxes because some are sized differently. And then the page flags as well in gold and in red. Then we have the Christmas underlays, which is the sleighs so so cute in gold so we have i think what four three three in gold and then we have three in red as well just so pretty so i am i should be good friends i should be good for christmas freaking foil next year um okay and then i did pick up the nightmare foil bundle because i got the kind of Sally, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I was about to say Jack and Sally. What are words? I'm a mess, you guys. I'm so sorry. My head's kind of all over the place, but I got this uh, Nightmare foil bundle for the like spooky Christmas kit. I didn't get to use it last year, but I do plan to use it this year. So I thought I got this in lavender, but I think this is actually in, um, I think it's in a purple hollow. Let's look at my receipt because <laughs> I'm like, oh no, what did I get this in? A lavender hollow. I was right. I love it. I love it so much. This is, this is giving more of like the lavender. It's not giving the lavender hollow that I'm used to. And I really love this. Like the lavender hollow I'm used to seeing, like when I think of SPC, lavender hollow is like much more like warmer toned pinky. And this is more leaning towards cooler tone purple. And I'm living for this cooler tone. I just, we stand, we stand this queen. We stand her. Anyways, I'm gonna stop gushing. <laughs> Full box overlays. Um, we have the underlays. What did I do? Did I get bats? I think I got the bat ones, I guess. I literally don't remember, you guys. It's been forever since I ordered this. Um, and then we have the header overlays and the kind of deco bits. We have the washi page, bottom washi page, date dots, little deco bits. And then we have the add-on page, which I almost always get with the kind of extra fun overlays and the extra um, underlays. So that is Nightmare. And then we have the Christmas foil bundle in gold. So we have the full box overlays. We have, I love this pattern. We have like the little wreath and ornament one with the bows. I love this so much. So you got two pages of these gorgeous underlays. Like this is adorbs. Then we have the little ornament dangles, the deco, and then your header overlays, your bottom washi overlay, and then of course your add-on. Like I said, I almost always get the add-on because I just love it. So that is everything from Alicia Craft. And I need to go put in an order with her now because I definitely need to pick up at least that fairy collection that she just released, baby. That is going in my cart. ASAP. Um, I'm sure there'll be other things. So it's been a minute since I purchased from her, but definitely going to use that. Next up, I have an order from Caress Press. I've really reeled it in with Caress Press, you guys, because <laughs> usually y'all know the stacks I'd be getting from Maggie's shop. Like, it's insane. But I only have two kits. I only have two kits. So, um, the, and these were separate orders. I know, I know, wild, but we have the um, silver freebie. This is the shop freebie and it has the cute little like sprinkle full box overlays and then little birthday quotes on the bottom. And then we have the more kind of winter freebie in gold as well. So we have those two. 
And then you guys. So you guys know if you've watched my um, kit lineup video for February that I am not really using any V-Day kits. Like, well, I'm using one V-Day-ish kit, but none of like the typical V-Day kits that I use. And I really wasn't even planning on using the one I'm using. I was planning on doing kind of a non not super heavy on the v-day but give it a little bit of v-day vibes um so if you guys know saw my kit lineup you know what i mean but uh i had to get this like i had to get this for next year and i'm trying not to do this so bad but like i needed this in my planner whether this year or next year but it's going in because it is so so good it's pillow talk and this is the sadie piper designs art We've got the deco and the square boxes page flags <laughs> Oh, oh my god oh my god it's so good bro bro this is amazing like <sighs> see Piper designs it's just murdering it i just love this and she always she almost always i think releases two colorways again both colorways fire but i had to go with this like brighter bolder one um i wanted like the different colors more so than the monochromatic version of the other but like oh, oh I, i'm shushed i'm shushed um so we have the solids like this is literally the last color i would think of pairing with these but yet somehow it works i don't know why it works in it in theory this should not work yet it works for me i don't know i don't know i don't understand i can't tell you but i'm obsessed uh glitter header page i love the grown and sexy vibes of this kit and this art i told sadie piper designs when she released it i'm like i'm here for the grown and sexy girl i really am sidebar goodies little icons your bottom washi this scene is beautiful i love this scene so much i want to be there <laughs> <laughs> how stunning and then we're back to the deco page and of course because it's maggie we have so many generous extras so let's get into those also like the fashion girls the fashion girls are so good anyways so look at this four additional boxes for free 99 okay for free 99 free 99 love we have the 15 millimeter strip in red and then i have all the extra girls so i have the tall box like how stunning is my girl how stunning is my girl like bruh bruh like i don't know i do i use all four of them i don't know i don't know like i'm definitely using the tall box but like am i using all three of these i don't know but i had to pick them up because they're just so dang beautiful and I don't understand why like for why <laughs> so that is the first kit and I I'm thinking about possibly using it for my anniversary it's definitely very v-day leaning but I thought it would be also cute to use for an anniversary so I might be able to squeak it in this year we'll see what ends up happening because I don't I don't think I have a kit honestly for my anniversary but obviously I just feel like the colors of this is so v-day leaning that it might be weird to do it in May which is when our anniversary is so I don't know but dude stunning stunning up next I have under the waves this is Kinesh Jess art and I just love I love this art of course for the new Little Mermaid movie however as most of you probably have guessed, I probably will not be using this for the new Little Mermaid movie um, unless I get myself another planner, which I am considering. We'll see. Just to use up stuff, honestly. But you know, you're going to get it and then you're going to use it as an excuse to buy more stickers. So I have to see. But full boxes. I love Ariel. So beautiful. Um, we have the solids. The patterns the patterns are super cute I love the patterns of this one I love the colors your glitter headers sidebar goodies icons your bottom wash I love that like water look so pretty that flat lay there and then you have the deco bits and the page flags and square boxes I do have extras I could not decide on the 15 millimeters so I got both because they're both kind of stunning to be honest honestly i kind of like this combo together more than the bottom washi even though i think the bottom washi is beautiful with the water scene but i'm kind of feeling this combo more so we'll see 
um, what ends up happening there. And then I just have the tall box as well of Ariel swimming away. So you guys know that you're going to see another Little Mermaid based kit in this haul. I don't have it yet, but it probably will be in this haul. If it's not in this haul, it'll be in the very next one um, because it's coming from Pink Diamond Planner Co. You guys already know it's coming. So that's my small order from Caress Press. I did pick up pick up I did pick up I cannot speak today I did pick up these extra 15 millimeters to go with some kits that don't have 15 millimeters so I'm going to pair these after but um just thought I'd show you guys those two so that's my order from Caress Press moving right along the next shop is pink diamond planner co and they are both mystery kits i have the cyber monday which you guys have probably already seen but i also have the january 2023 mystery so if for some reason you don't want to see either one of those go ahead and just skip on through to the next portion of the haul because i have those and then i do have um I'm probably going to tack on my next Pink Diamond Planner Co. order, which is on its way to the end of this. So this will be primarily to start, it will be mysteries, and then I'll have a regular shop order after. So just skip on along um, if you don't want to see them because they come in. Okay. So, um, oops, that's the Crest Press freebies. So let's start with my little pack here. I can already see my freebie on the top. So if you guys are not aware, I do PR for Tasha's shop. It is just a dream PRing for Tasha because she's amazing. Um, you can use my code Anna15 to save or if she is having, you know, her like new releases sale, which usually is a higher discount for you, get you your discount because inflation and then put my name in the notes and you'll still get my stinking adorable freebie. Like, it's just so cute. Like, it's just so cute. How could you say no? It's so cute. So, <laughs> just do you the favor and do it. We have the order freebie. It's in like a sparkly gold. It says wine and relax, celebrate, time to get planning. And there's two full box overlays. So that's super cute. I have, it looks like I already dug into, oh yeah, I remember. I have the um, like winter Christmas full box overlay. So I definitely did dig into these already. So we have the hollow one. There's no place like home for the holidays. And then the reindeer. I have the lit as a Christmas tree. Nice until proven naughty. How good do I have to be? And then milk and cookies in hollow. The same one in gold. Then we have, oh, here's the other two that were missing from that first sheet. So hot cocoa and fuzzy socks. That's one of my faves, honestly. And then snuggle and watch it snow. You'll see this in an upcoming plan with me if you haven't seen them yet, because clearly I did use them recently. So in silver, then we have baby, it's cold outside, chilling with my snowmies, dashing through the snow. When does hibernation start? I'm 100% participating in that. I love this one. Um, as well in silver and then we have the same lit as a Christmas tree one in silver as well so those are all the full box overlays and then as you guys can see we're starting with the Saba Monday so let's dig on into her she is a game night theme and her and SPC coincided with theme this year well last year I guess I should say um let me take all these things out, y'all, so I cannot be obnoxious. Here we go. So we've got the game night theme here for the Cyber Monday. And I don't know, y'all. I don't know if it's because the theme was done for SPC. I do prefer the brighter colors of the SPC kit. I still like this, but I don't know. There's something about it that I don't like. I'm not obsessed with it, but I do really like it. Um, so we have the full boxes. I'm here for the food. I'm always here for the food. Like if you, if you were wondering, I'm always here for the food. I love this like gold copper, well, like orangey copper color. Like I'm a fan of that color for some reason. We have the deco page, um, work labels. We have, um, your functionals here, both solids and patterns, your glitter headers. I like these colors. Yeah, this is cute. I like them like this. Like when I look at them like this, I'm like, oh, I kind of like this. Um, you have your little um, extra full boxes there. You have your day trackers, your sidebar goodies, page flags, some appointment labels and squared off boxes, your solids, your patterns. I will say I absolutely love 
like adore this domino pattern like speaks to my Dominican school soul on another level and again I love this color look at this the bottom washi amazing the bottom washi is amazing I love the domino set love 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 and then we have the 15 millimeter with the extra fashion options um, and then I think this is a new format. So we have more just solids of the functionals. And then we have the doodle page on here. There's so many new formats, you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit y'all. Um, there's so many new formats all the time that I literally cannot keep up. So we have the different skin tones for the guy. And then for the foil, it came with a matte bronze foil and like this diamond kind of pattern. Makes sense. Um, so we have the full box overlays. We have another page of those plus a tall box overlay, header overlays, your bottom washi header, deep dots page, your scripts and icons page, and then two pages of the bougie. And then we do have the little uh, like vinyl or matte uh, sampler as well with that. So that is the Cyber Monday mystery. Again, I really like it, don't love it. Um, but probably we'll keep it because like the colors when you see them on there's something about like the glitter header page with those colors that I'm like oh I dig the vibe I dig the vibe um, so that is the Cyber Monday mystery now baby listen we are back to Darcy DePose art killing it for the January mystery y'all Y'all, the January mystery. Like, we are starting this year off with a bang because this January mystery is amazing, in my humblest of opinions. I feel like it's not getting the love it deserves. Again, my humblest of opinions because I feel like this should be getting a lot of love. I get that the theme might not be everyone's thing, but, like, oh, the kit itself is stunning. It's stunning. Are you guys ready? Ooh, what is it? Oh, it is called culinary. I'm like, what is it called culinary? It is. So the January 2023 mystery is culinary and like, y'all. Y'all, this is so amazing. I cannot, I, again, I feel like this is, this mystery is not getting enough love in my opinion, because I think it is fantastic. I love these the color combo of this oh I love that this is a little hello fresh box because we'll occasionally get hello fresh I just I can't it's just it's making me hungry looking at it like I cannot so I have the full boxes the deco page weekend banner like these colors baby these colors these colors there's that red plaid again. I feel like that's been coming up a lot lately. <laughs> um, I love it. I, I... <sighs> also, I'm sorry. Are these? I'm sorry. Are these birria tacos? Bro. Because this, look, this looks like consume. But I guess maybe it could be gravy. <sighs> it's giving birria tacos. And now like I feel like I need to know. I need to know. It's fine. It's fine. Extra boxes, glitter headers, which the glitter headers are different here. The glitter, like, chunk factor is less decreased. I don't know how to say that. It's less chunky. There you go, Anna. What are words today? <sighs> I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed and get back up again, clearly. Um, side burgundies, your square boxes, your solids. Patterned page. I love this. This is also new. I think this is an even newer format because she has the um, split bottom washi here. It used to be the full, it would still be split, but it would be the full like 30, 30 millimeter, 32 millimeter. And then there would be a separate page for the 15 millimeter. So that's kind of how my kits are set up. So basically it was like that, but she switched this up and now she's including the split one here, which I, I'm not mad at, honestly, this turquoise color is so gorgeous. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go, friends. Here we go again. Like, good sis. Good sis with the red lip. Mm, green hair here. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. This scene. Whew. Wow. Okay. 
you have some extra functionals, your doodle page, and then you have the extra color. Oh man, I I can't say enough good things about this. This is so good. I don't know what I would do for foil. Let me show you guys what it came with, which I don't I don't hate it with this foil pairing. So it came with gold, which actually I kind of like. And for some reason I like it with this hot gold. I don't, but I don't know if that's where I want to go with it. We'll have to see. But it came with this gold foil bundle. So we have the full box overlays page, headers and more full box and tall box overlay, bottom washi page, your scripts and icons page, and then your two pages of bougie with your matte sampler. I feel like this is kind of calling for a fun foil, but like the options are kind of endless as far as fun foils with this. Like, do I lean into this like teal, like turquoisey color? Cause like fam, like that's really the color that's speaking my name at the moment. You could do a red, you could pull off a rose gold, like a pinky rose gold. You could do a matte bronze, like, oh my God. I don't know what I'm going to do for foil for this, but this is actually the other contender for my anniversary week because I think this is a cute little, like, could be a cute little, like, date night thing. We can stay in. We can cook ourselves a meal. So that might be a cute one for, for our anniversary. And it also gives me more, like, could give me more May vibes than the, um, what was it called? The pillow talk one I showed you guys, which is just straight up V-Day vibes. But I feel like this could give more, more May vibes. I think I just found my anniversary kit, y'all. Talking to y'all. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys. So this next kit, oh, let me just show you guys because this is a separate order. This cute little freebie that came with it in sparkly red. I love this heart design. Like, I don't think this is in shop, but like... Mm, I would definitely consider getting it if it was. And then you have the little scripts. So it's V-Day themed. And then I just got another one of my freebies. Use Anna 15 to save and get my freebie. You guys, this kit. This kit. This art. This is my favorite Little Mermaid art that's come out for this, um, I won't for this ever, just period. That's the end of the sentence, period. Um, I love, 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 love that she included, well, I should say they, because of course this is a Darcy Tasha collab, so it's outstanding as per usual. They included Ursula, and I thought that, that it was such a great touch. I love how they have her little, like, sidekicks, I forget their names, like, wrapped around her. I just, I love how this was done. Like, the attention to detail, like, so amazing. <laughs> Does that say C. Ursula? I think it says C. Ursula. Look at her cute little, like, it has a mirror, and it has her cute little picture with flounder. Like, it is so good, you guys. It's amazing like they once again have just freaking murdered it i have no idea what i'm using for foil for this so let me know maybe purple hollow now that i'm looking at it purple hollow might be cute rose could be cute <sighs> hollow could be cute i don't know i don't know what i'm using but i am just obsessed i'm giving you guys a close-up because it deserves a close-up like these boxes baby these boxes Oh, like if you haven't gotten this, like they just crushed it. They crushed it. They crushed it in the extra boxes. <clears throat> bye, bye, bye. I cannot. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough, honestly. The colors, amazing. I love the deco. The deco is perfect. The bubbles for the little weekend. Banner is so cute. Oh, look at this. I love this pattern. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this bedroom scene. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? With the shell bed? Stop. Stop. What? I cannot. Mm -mm. No. No. Darcy and Tasha's are they're they're wrong for this. They're just wrong for this. Like that's what it is. I'm not even talking through the format. I can't even. Y'all know the format. I just I can't do it. I cannot. I cannot do it. 
this nod for the crab legs, you guys. Like, <laughs> I love this so much. I shouldn't love this so much, but I really love this so much. And then I can't really see here, but I think, so Tasha like showed me these right before she released it, um, which shout out to Tasha for that. She was like, do you want to sneak? And I was like, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Is that even a question? Um, and I think it's Sebastian Scuttle and a flounder on a group text, bro. Like, bro, bro. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love the bubbles. I can't. I can't. The purple. I, I love the purple in this. You're going to see in a second that I definitely picked up the extra purple color because I'm... This is so good, y'all. And then look at the extra, look at the extra boxes. Like, <sighs> I have no words. I have no words that you haven't heard because there just haven't been adjectives yet added to the dictionary to tell you how I feel about this. This tall box is fan-freaking-tastic and like, Look at him. Look at him. Like, what? This scene is absolutely beautiful. I love this. Oh, I can't. Great for a quote. I can't do it. I cannot. I cannot do it. I don't know what I'm doing for it. I don't know what colors I'm going to pull in. I got all the extra colors. So I picked up the purple add-on and the blue add-on because I don't know what to do with my life. And I even got the doodle add-on. And I don't usually get the doodle add-on, but like this is, this is some iconic-ish right here. Like this is just... I am floored. I really am. Like they just keep crushing it. And I'm waiting for them to just have a moment where they don't crush it. And they're like, keep waiting, ho, because that's not going to happen. So that is Under the Sea from Pink Dumb Planner Co. And then I have one more kit. And you guys are going to be like, what is this kit for, friend? Well, I actually bought this one as um really to just use the functional. So this is Alpine. This is like a cabin, winter cabin feel. Um, I mean, the art's cute, but I'm not gonna be using these full boxes. I'd probably be de-stashing them. What I care about are the functionals that I can pull in to a kit I'm gonna show you in a second. And you guys will see why, why in a minute. So let's get to the functionals. So here's your functionals. And I think they can work with the full boxes I'm planning to use. So let me show you guys that. I think it can work. Let me show you guys what I'm thinking here. So I'm going to have to go into another shop because this is a different shop. But I did pick up this stuff from Rose Shadow Collection for a spread I want to do in June. And I think these colors work. Like definitely at least like the tans. So let me show you guys. This, this is stunning. Let me zoom out a smidge so you guys can get the full effect. Um, I forgot what the name of these collections were, but like, I really, really want to use this for June. I'm thinking of doing like a black themed June, because of course June has Juneteenth, but I thought it would be fun to do that. Uh, this is also kind of taking a page out of Planners and Tacos book, Shanice from Planners and Tacos. And these boxes are just so beautiful. I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed with these boxes so clearly I have a ton but I think that these like I was trying to find some functionals that I thought would go best and I feel like these tans could work I feel like this green could work they're not perfect matches but I think they could work all laid out so we'll see what I end up doing with it um and if I end up going this route, but I think they could work. And then I can pull in, because it's it's a foiled kit, if you guys haven't noticed, in gold. So I can just bring in like um, some gold matte labels that are foiled as well to like kind of fill out the spread. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if that's the route I'm gonna go. I have like the little 15 millimeter from Pink Diamond Planner Co. So this is kind of like a Franken plan. But I don't no, I think it could work, but like these boxes, you guys from Rose Shadow Collection, like let's let's uh, again, let's just take a look at how absolutely beautiful these boxes are. Like, are are we playing? Are we are we playing? 
like this one with each of them doing each other's hair like so beautiful so so beautiful and then this one I love this box it's just gorgeous it's gorgeous so I'm just gonna pull from the boxes that I love the most of these and I tried to do a spread so I think this is gonna be like what do y'all call it a Franken plan or whatever I think that's what this is gonna be but what do you guys think I think the colors can work right like the beige the tan I think they could work I feel like they can work all laid down I might have to take some more time to stare at it but yeah I think so so I'm gonna put these away together so that I remember my plan for it um Rose Shadow Collection, I don't remember if these were just available in full boxes and then she did like a la carte or if this was like her kits, which are still much smaller than the kits I typically used for the for the way I plan. So yeah, I thought these would be a good good to supplement them. Okay, so oh, and one more thing I picked up from Rose Shadow Collection is this stunning little um like vellum dashboard or acetate I think this is more acetate um, of this girl she's just absolutely stunning I'm gonna pop her I think into my planner because I just I can't she is beautiful beautiful so so that's it for pink diamond planner co and for rose shadow collection as always I will have them linked down below here we have some SPC, so I have tons of freebies. I think these are all Lux freebies, which I am not gonna use, so that will be de-stashed. And then we have my doodles. I have a Draco. I think these are all Harry Potter ones. I have Dumbledore, so cute. Ron, little scribblers. Hermione, Harry, and then, oh, this is Wednesday. I'm like, who is this? I believe. Yes, this is Wednesday. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then I have, let's see. I have these, whoa. I have this, which was like a Christmas card I think she was sending out. And I love the front. Oh, I have two of them. I love this scene. So I don't know where to put it in my planner, but I want it to be there right next to protect your piece. Let's see how I can make that work. I don't know. Then I have this little naughty die cut um, or vinyl as well. This is a little freebie. Definitely goes with the vibes of the card. And then what do we have here? Did I order this? I can't remember if I ordered this or if it was a freebie. I don't think I ordered this, so it must be a freebie. It's um, Christmas movies, so it's like a Christmas movie sampler in hollow. I definitely don't think I ordered this, so it must be a freebie. So we have that. And then we have a little hollow matte sampler, which I really love these. So this I will definitely use. And then we have a freebie. Who's freebie? Kirsten's freebie, I think, in this like very light green color. Definitely some usable ones in there. And then we get into Ma Order. So most of this is once again foil. And then I just have the February mystery, which I will leave for last. For those of you who do not want to be spoiled, I am not going to flip through everything. Um, I think I'm just going to flip through, honestly, one of these. But I want to show you these other ones. So I picked up another one of the rainbow, sparkly rainbow foil bundle mix, which is just freaking iconic um in the shimmer foil bundle format i have a sparkly red she's been releasing a lot of the new confetti foil bundles in lots of fun colors which i'm loving so i have the sparkly red one and then i have the ooh, which one was this one i don't remember the name of this one y'all because she's had a few of these um, it's kind of like a magenta. I don't know if it's called magenta because I think she also had a magenta hollow. So maybe this is magenta. I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't know the name of this one. But um, this is the one I'm going to flip through because this one's the same one. So I picked up two of those. And then I have a hollow, sparkly hollow, uh, another mixed metal shimmer foil bundle. So let me show you guys this. I think, I think it's magenta. Um... Or maybe it's Malibu. I think it's Malibu, actually. It might be Malibu, you guys. So we have the full box overlays. This color is just stunting. It is stunting. So we've got the full box overlays, two pages of those, and the header overlays, two pages of your bougie, because phenomenal. 
you have your scripts icons page like this color is just next level and then you have your bottom washi um, little deco bits and a date dots page so that is that and now we're going to get into the February mystery. So if you guys do not want to be spoiled, as this video should go up in February, probably soon-ish, um, go ahead and click on out. Um, thank you so much for watching all of the things. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. We are going to get into it in... 2.2. I just need to take it out of the cello. Okay, here we go. February 2023 mystery. I love it, y'all. I love it. I can't even hate on it. I love it. I am definitely not a book person. Your girl does not read, but any kids like this I can always use for work because I work at a college for those of you who don't know, and I can always use these to mark the start of classes, the end of the semester with finals. I can use this to mark anything related to work. And I usually do mark like first day of classes uh, with a kit like specifically for that, or at least related to that. So um, yeah, so I'm obsessed. I I'm not sure, I think this is Dusk Design Art. I think that's the artist who I love her stuff. So I know not everyone does, but I love her stuff. Everything that SPC has done with her has been pretty good in my opinion so um anyways we got the full boxes here I love this girl here sitting down reading this girl with the stack of books super cute love 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 deco page page flags you have this double box scene here with the open book the glitter header page you have your functionals your little things and appointment labels your solids your patterns then you have your bottom washi page you have your extra color here with the doodles added in tall box is amazing like the tall box is effing amazing um, there's a pattern box now and another full box here but like the tall box though like can we discuss the tall box because it is next level for some reason i thought there was another page <laughs> I think it's because I'm hanging on to the foil. Yep, that's exactly what's happening here. It's stuck. It's stuck. Okay, there we go. So we've got that. And then the foil is, is matte bronze. The foil is matte bronze and it's in shimmer, which is my favorite format from her thus far. And I am obsessed. So <laughs> the full box overlay, header overlays. We've got two pages of that baby, two pages of the bougie your scripts and icons page, and then finally your bottom washi page. And there were some really fun extras with this one. So we have the extra girl skin tones here. Love that. And then the other extra was this little like bottom washi overlay with the book theme, which I think was a cute addition. You have this little full box overlay and then some extra like book related scripts. So I thought that was cute. I think the only thing I would actually use in here is maybe this, but I'm not too attached to this because I don't read that much, y'all. I know it's terrible, but I really don't read that much. So I might destash it. I can't decide if I want to use the bottom washi part of it, but this is definitely a hot ticket. I see people in the buy sell trade like ready to sell their soul for it and I know the feeling to be honest with you so <laughs> I know the feeling that June mystery last year I was like bruh I need it in my life immediately um so yeah that's the February mystery they have been hyping the March mystery so I have very high expectations for the March mystery because it's been getting hyped I feel like it's been getting hyped from everyone more than usual so let's see let's see what comes with the March one but all right, y'all, that is it. That is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video video a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching, y'all. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.